Hey, hey everybody, it's Scott Omato back for another Minecraft video. Guys, in this video, this is going to kind of be a supplement to my video on the On Top Replica mod. But we're going to talk about pause in background or pause on lost focus. And we're going to talk about this mod called FPS Reducer. All right. And there's a similar mod for a fabric called Dynamic FPS. Now, I've seen this mod for a while. And, you know, you think FPS reducer, I don't want to reduce my FPS. Well, guys, under certain circumstances, you definitely do want to. OK, and let me show you like what those circumstances are. So uh, you can see this uh, full screen window here is in the background and it's in an eco mode right now. So it's only getting like nine frames per second in the update of the window. All right. That's the important distinction is that it's only the client rendering to the screen all right and when it's in the background i don't need to see that i don't need the client to be rendering frames to the screen at full frame rate because that's using a ton of resources that's not needed so i actually have two versions of minecraft open right now in this eco mode and see they're hardly using any of my cpu my cpu is only using five percent now, of course, you have to have sufficient memory and stuff to do that, but it's hardly using any system resources. So if you're AFKing uh, a long process, um, you know, machines that are running or you're wanting your farms to grow or you have a fishing, AFK fishing, something like that, uh, you don't need this client to be updating the screen at all. It'll all still work server side and everything will you know still process and all that kind of stuff but it'll save you tons of of uh, cpu power so you can pretty much operate your computer normally uh you know of course depending on the speed of your computer and memory and stuff like that but you can pretty much like i said just continue to work with your computer while minecraft is in the background processing using hardly any resources all right so if this is a regular forge mod just install it as a forge mod or there is this fabric version that you could install in fabric as well so uh so let, let me just show you kind of how it works now i'm going to put my uh my counter here or the the task manager up in always on top so we can see it okay so i'm just going to change this graph type to the graph summary view which just makes the small uh, cpus and we can just see how the cpus are being utilized so here, recording OBS, two instances of Minecraft open and a Chrome window, I'm not using hardly any of my CPU again. I'm using four or 5% of it, all right? But if I switch to this window, all right, you can see my frame FPS jumps up to 1800 around there uh, for this world, and it starts to use CPU again. Now on my computer, it uses CPU three, four, and seven and eight all right but you could see that the the cpu usage jumped up quite a bit because now this screen is focused so if i use something like that on top replica for instance all right and, and brought it up all right so let me select the uh, other window here so here it is and it's in the background all right and so it's in eco mode running 10 frames a second which is fine now this one went into eco mode as well because it's in the background too okay but again, I pop it into the front and now I can monitor that window in the background uh, in eco mode. You could see the screen is updating and all that, but it's not using my CPU that much. This main thing now in that video that I was making on the on top replica, it was laggy in these worlds because I had two full instances of Minecraft, one with a shader and everything on it so like if i go and i switch to this window now i can switch to this window all right this has got a shader on it uh and you know it's it's pretty intensive in its processing what i'm doing with it uh and so generally i'm only getting you know 170 frames a second or something in it but it took that other one and put it completely into the background so let, let's go back to on top replica uh, let's see if that goes into the background. It's right here and select that other window, which is the Minecraft single player window right here. Okay. And it's paused in the background. Okay. Now, so let's talk about pause in on lost focus for a moment. All right. Because, uh, there is an F three, um, 
command that you can do and it's F3P. So hit F3P and you can see pause on lost focus enabled. So that means when I go into the background of this window, it's going to pause. All right. So if I if I switch it like there, the game pauses. All right. But if I turn that off, F3P again, pause on lost focus disabled. All right. Now it won't pause when I go into the background. All right. And that way it'll keep running. All right. So I can switch to this window here and set it to do that. So F3 and P pause on lost focus enabled pause on lost focus disabled all right uh, on top replica stays with the window all right so now you can see that uh, it stays with the window that you've selected so you can switch away from it that way but now you can see i have this game running in the background over the top of the other game and it's not paused so i can monitor it but it's in that eco mode where it's only running 10 frames a second so the main processing is going on in this window here, all right, and not in the other one, which is very cool. So I, I could watch, you know, uh, uh, some kind of long running process or whatever. Now, for me, one of the reasons I would particularly want to be able to run two versions of Minecraft like this is because oftentimes I have a creative world that I'm building stuff or I have some machine setups or something like that that I'm working on in the you know main world that I'm, I'm doing. So I could use this background uh, one to run that just as the flat world. Now, of course, if you run huge mod packs or whatever, then you know you have to be uh, concerned about the amount of RAM and stuff that you're using. But this eco mode allows you to totally just, you know, use that and then switch to it, which is totally cool, guys. So anyway, I, I'm going to keep this video kind of short, but I wanted to show you that. And uh, let's go back to uh, Chrome. And again, each one of these will go back into the background. You can see when I'm mainly on Chrome that my CPU usage drops off almost entirely. Uh, let's let it run a little bit so you could just see that I'm hardly using any CPU now. Um, because both of these windows, although they're running now, see this one's running. The other one uh, should be running as well. Let's see. I think I paused that one. Let, let, let's go ahead and not pause it, uh, that one. And let's switch back to Chrome. And so I should have, yeah, I've got two windows running off into the background. Keeping in mind that it's only the screen redraws, the screen updates that matter. All the server processes and stuff for mods are all still running at full speed. Uh, you know, so you're nothing else would change beside what you're seeing on the screen on the client. And as I said, in the background, you don't care about that. So these are the two mods, FPS Reducer. I'll leave a link in the description and Dynamic FPS for Fabric. All right. And they do similar things. Dynamic FPS might have a few more little bug fixes or something uh, that it says. I'm going to be testing it uh by itself um, and if there's anything to report then i'll do a video on that anyway if you enjoyed it leave a like guys thanks so much for watching this is scott omato we'll see you in the next one have a great day bye bye